Trent Armstrong, our former Modern Manners guy, sent me a picture of a sign that mixed up the words personal and personnel. Now, that's one I hadn't seen before. It read, keep out, Thunderbird personal only. In this special video segment of Grammar Girl, we're going to explore the difference between these two words. Want more Grammar Girl? Find the full podcast here on YouTube or subscribe on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Personal and personnel have the same Latin root, personalis, which means that knowing the root is no help if you're trying to remember the different spellings. Personal relates to your person or your body, or implies a sense of closeness. For example, if you're someone's personal friend, you're suggesting that the two of you are closer than just casual friends. And if you have a personal favorite, personal just adds emphasis. Some people may even argue that personal is redundant in the phrase personal favorite. And a personal affront is an insult directed specifically at one person. You get the idea. When you refer to personnel, you're talking about a group of people, usually people who work at a company or for the military. Personnel can also be the name of a department that manages a company's employees and can be used as an adjective to describe situations related to employees. After the confetti incident, we had to make some personnel changes. Personnel can be both singular and plural. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary of English Usage and Dictionary.com say some people object to personnel being plural, but that the plural use is widespread and acceptable. In fact, some writers also objected to the word in general for the first 50 to 100 years after it was introduced to English from French in the early 1800s. Modern style guides suggest that when personnel is plural, it means people, as in people at the company. The singular use is less common and pops up when you're treating it as a collective noun, similar to staff and board. Here are some examples. All personnel are required to wear galoshes on Mondays. Plural, meaning roughly all people at the company are required to wear galoshes on Mondays. Shareholders say the key point is how much personnel is retained after the cuts. Singular, meaning roughly how much staff is retained. You can remember that personnel means many people by noting that it's spelled with more ends than personal. And a final note for those of you who are interested in writing with plain English, when you're tempted to use the word personnel, ask if it would be simpler and more clear to use a word such as people or workers instead. If you found that segment interesting, check out episode 865, too, where we talked about material versus material. If you liked the video, check out the full podcast for more. The other segment is about the A prefix in English, like why we say we're awake, but we don't find ourselves a walk. Thanks to our team at Quick and Dirty Tips for help with the podcast and the video. And thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.